Hey, how did it go with Oliver? He got a lead on the policies, but he can't get to them until the morning. Good. Well? Well, what? Did you talk to my dad? Lewis told me. He said he'd think about it. So basically, if my dad doesn't come around by tomorrow, Spectre Lit could cease to exist. Which ironically means the only way we still have jobs is if we're both working for your dad. Unless we aren't. What are you talking about? Mike, I went and saw Andy Forsyth today. That job still exists. Wait a second, you went to see him about us moving to Seattle? I asked you what you would think if I said I'd consider it. Rachel. Just hear me out. And if you don't want to do it, we won't do it. But Mike, we're young and we don't have any kids yet. And if we're ever going to do something like this in our lives, now's the time. If we do this, we'd have to leave within days. I know. And what about the wedding? What about it? We're not going to fly back here in six weeks to have it. We could delay it. I don't want to delay it. We could move it up. Then let's move it up. I'm serious. We can make that happen. Whoever can make it, makes it. Whoever can't, can't. Wait. Do you really want to take this job? I don't know if I want to take this job or not, but what I do know is that I have wanted to marry you from the second I met you, and I am tired of waiting. So tomorrow, Oliver's going to find the answer or not. Either way, we should do this. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's so exciting. <laughs> I can't believe you actually pulled this off. Mm, yeah, you can. You told him? Yeah, Mike, I did. Because Rachel trusted me to put this wedding together, and it wouldn't have felt like a celebration without Harvey. Thanks, Don. Is he up there? Yeah. <sighs> Just in time. I didn't think you were going to be able to make it. What can I say? I like to make an entrance. It's going to be awkward when my real best man shows up. Oh, I think it's clear who the best man is. Mm. OK, maybe. Mm. Good. I'm the best. Hey, you ready for this? Yeah, I am. I think you are, too. From the first second I met you, I knew I wanted to be here with you someday. Walking down the aisle, arm in arm. I know that I fought it at first, but now, Mike, I can't imagine living alongside anyone else for the rest of my life. If I've learned one thing, it's that we never know what the future holds. And that can be a scary thing. But I know that there is nothing that I can't handle when I have you by my side. You are the strongest man I've ever met. And you make me stronger. You're the husband I've always wanted. And I can't wait to begin our adventure together. Do you, Michael James Ross, Take Rachel Elizabeth Zane to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And do you, Rachel, take Michael to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. And I now pronounce you man and wife.